just a quick reminder that we are doing a giveaway for one of these Hidden Fates pin collection boxes. Uh, if you've been having trouble finding some or you know you're just still looking for that <laughs> shiny Charizard uh, be sure to check out our video from yesterday and make sure you enter the giveaway uh, all you have to do is go to that video make sure you're already a sub hit that like button and leave a comment Tur hashtag turtle giveaway and you're entered what's up I'm Moana turtle and today we're going to be talking about some of the new cards that are going to be featured in the new Japanese set altered Genesis and we're going to be talking about the new supporters with this new mechanic, Tag Team Supporters. And they're interesting, they're a little bit different. Essentially what a Tag Team Supporter is, it has some effect and additionally you can discard some number of cards to get an additional effect. Why that means Tag Team, I'm not sure, <laughs> but we'll go with it. Uh, but it's also going to be a bit of a rant on how things might be stepping into a they may be stepping, taking a step in the wrong direction as far as art goes where, you know, there's a lot of things right going on. You know, these things from Dream League, oh, I love this. This card is amazing, the art is amazing, and but it's all about those like full arts, those alternate arts. But then I feel like the Pokemon company is starting to really phone it in on some of the non-alternate art cards. So, but first let's get into talk about some of the new cards so this is one of the there's gonna be three that we're talking about the first one we're gonna hit is guzma and hala supporter tag team so uh we have search your deck for a stadium card reveal it and then put it into your hand shuffle your deck um i feel like green's exploration if you can play it is just straight up better you can you can grab two <laughs> but then it does have additional effects so uh, when you play this card, you may, so it's optional, discard two cards from your hand. If you do, you may search, also search your deck for a Pokemon tool and a special energy card reveal and put in your hand. Um, I feel like this card is not very good. I feel like the bench, the um, table stakes for a supporter is like draw a bunch of cards, help you look at a whole new hand. You know like the Cynthia the Lily and that's kind of like there will probably always be some that or even if they get a little bit worse like oh maybe draw four cards or something like that so a good amount of card draw is like the base and this is very much it feels like a way to filter your hand where all oh, my hand is garbage this is a good way to get rid of the garbage um, and then fill it up with maybe some things you need but it's too all over the place a tool card and a special energy card um, so I'm not crazy about this card uh, I do think that the stadium thing is is um not bad though i feel like kind of controlling the stadium that's in play is actually really important uh and i feel like whenever i play now it's like oh well get my heat factory and it's like nope it's gone and now it's an ultra space all right well power plant and then nope ultra space again all right the uh, stone hearth and it just you know it's a constant battle so uh, overall i don't think this card is good enough and back to the art you know maybe this card will have a nice full art but uh Check, check this out. This is what the original Guzma and the original Hala look like. Ooh. <laughs> look familiar? <laughs> These things are literally just transposed onto a new background. The same exact image. That is so lazy. Again, maybe the alt, the full art will be cool, but oh, I can't. This is... This is very difficult for me to ignore the amount of laziness that's going into these the arts for the uh, not the the normal art. I'm not sure what to call it, the regular art. All right, next one, Cynthia and Caitlin. Do these? Does the art? Do, do the trainers look familiar again? Uh, let's take a look. Put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand, excluding this one. Additionally, or anything you discard during your play. Additionally, you may discard one card from your hand if you do draw three cards. So let's talk about the first part first. When I first read the Mind Report Mewtwo, I thought that card had some potential. It was kind of like a Lele, only instead of from your deck, it's only from your discard pile. I have never seen that card used, and I feel like one of the main benefits of it, like or main benefit of Lele, and then to some degree potentially Mewtwo, is that that doesn't count as your supporter. And now you're doing it as your supporter for the turn. So I feel like this is the original ability just is not that good. And like one of the biggest downsides of Mewtwo is like, well, what if you start off with this card? You can't play it. Not only that, but since it counts as your supporter, let's say, oh well, I want the I want my better supporter back, I want my Cynthia back. You still can't use it. That was where Mewtwo would actually be better than this card. Um 
And then for its secondary ability, you can discard one card for three, so that turns into, you know, best, this thing turns into a two for four. Um, so in that way, you did get something out of the trainer, where you uh, managed to draw three new cards and pick up a supporter for next turn. So in that way, I could see this card being okay, but I really don't like to run the risk of opening hand. This is your only supporter. You, I mean, I guess you can still use it. Uh, I wonder if you can fail the first clause and then just use the second one. So essentially, at that point, you're doing a two for three, which is, yeah, even if you could do that, which I'm not sure, I think this card is just not strong enough. In certain situations, you can get into really sticky spots uh, where you have a really unideal turn. And all right, back to the art. I forgot about it. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my, it is literally them transposed onto a new background. Oh man, we're moving, moving in such the wrong direction again. I'm going to pull this thing back. <laughs> like, oh, we're going in such, you know, things are innovating again. And I feel like maybe they're still innovating, but they're becoming super lazy on the basic stuff, the stuff that now they're skipping steps, which I'm not a fan of. All right, there's one more we want to go through. This is, I think, probably the one, in my opinion, that has the most potential. And that is red and blue. Hmm, that, that should have some potential, right? Search your deck for evolution Pokemon GX that evolves from one Pokemon in play um, and evolve it, and then shuffle your deck. Additionally, oh, an important clause is that you can't use this on your first turn or um, a Pokemon that you just put into play this turn. So if you can't evolve it normally, you can't still can't use this card. Uh, additionally, you may discard two cards from your hand. If you do, search your deck for two basic energy cards and attach it to the Pokemon you evolved. So a lot of potential here. Uh, I feel like it's pretty cool because it's kind of like, um, oh, well, I don't have the right cards in my hand, so I can use this. It's kind of like a filter thing again, but it has some built-in ramp where let's just say you have, um, a, well, we have a supporter or we just basically have this supporter and then two cards that we wish for something else. Like, oh, I wish this was the Pokemon I could evolve into and some energies that I want on it. This does all that for you. Uh, so it is does cost three cards and it is pretty expensive. Um, I feel like it, it will be difficult to discard that many cards uh, from your hand in order to pull this off. But, um, oh, but let's go through the art again. Does this look familiar? Because to me, it looks like Red's Challenge and Blue's Tactics. Again, the same images just transposed on a different background. Uh, I have a joke theory about what happened is that the um, Pokemon, they're like, oh, well, we got to put all this work into the alternate arts for these character rares. And then it's like, oh, wait. You know, we have a deadline coming up and we haven't created the regular art. We, we've been focusing on the other ones and all of our artists are booked. It's like, all right, well, you know, give me any artist. Doesn't matter who. It's like, there are no more. It's like, all right, give it to like the the high school intern that just knows how to use like MS Paint. Like, oh, in the, the Poke Beach comments, uh, there's like people just thrashing this about like, they just use paint and just like copy and paste it on this. And all they did was, oh, well, someone just needs to give me a new background and I'll just, you know, copy and paste the the character art on top of it and that's all that these are so lazy <laughs> but all right let's get back to the actual card um i was trying to come up with a good combination for this and to be honest i was struggling to find one i feel like right now like the meta is so kind of like basic pokemon uh focus for like, especially like the dps or the ones that actually do all the damage um you know, all the tag team, and the tag teams obviously don't evolve, so things that actually evolve that are GX, you know, I feel like most of them are not good enough, or like the ones that actually are strong, they're stage two, and this is not, this is not good enough for stage two, this doesn't replace rare candy, it's more like an Evo soda kind of thing. But, uh, so maybe we'll just have to do it for the supports, because most of the GXs, regular GXs that are good, that evolve, are kind of like there just to be support. So, actually, this is the alternate art, and... I, it's not bad, but I don't know. I I'm, I feel like specific for like red and blue. Why are they sticking to this so like? It's not chibi, but it's like very kiddish art. Um, and actually, one of the the one potential combo we're gonna talk about actually features a much better alternate art. <laughs> like, look at this. Look at this N. This is what it's supposed to look like. 
All right, and reminder of a little bit about this card. So 270 HP, but this attack is, this first attack is amazing for a fire and electric. Um, oh, this thing didn't paste correctly. Uh, but discard up to three of combination of any basic fire or electric energy from your bench Pokemon. This does 90 damage for each one. So strong, you discard three and then you're doing 270, uh, which is the um, typical health for any tag team these days. Uh, I think there's a couple of 280s, but uh, this is still super strong. And so obviously we can't use it for this, this card. This would be absolutely amazing because I do think the with Welder, like the Fire Energy will be really easy to get onto Pokemon to discard, but the Electric will be a little bit trickier. Um, by the time this thing comes out, I'm not sure Taku, Taku Koko Prism Star will still be in there, but that's the only thing that comes to mind to actually like go out of you to quickly pull in Electric Energy. Uh, but all right, what can we use Red and Blue on to support uh, the Zekrom Reshiram? Uh, there's a couple of thoughts I had. Uh, one of them was is the new Savali, which primarily you are, so you just have type null and then you use red and blue to turn it into Savali. So it's like you discard three cards and you manage to ramp up uh, Savali with a couple energy to be discarded by N, but then Savali is great because you use its ability to draw back up to five cards. So if you're like, oh, you just have enough to get this combo off and then you're back up to five cards, you refilled your hand, which is great. And so I feel like this is one one way you could pull off the this great combination combo um, to basically ramp for uh, Zekrom Reshiram. The other, only other one that came to mind was Naganadal. Uh, first, I thought it'd be great if you could just use it on the non GX, but the clause for red and blue that does need to be a GX Pokemon prevents that. However, there's still some potential here just because Naganadal does have a very cool tr card draw engine in itself built in. Uh, so a little bit more work than Silvalli, but you know I feel like this is a very much a deck that's already in place. Um, in fact, this got second place in Worlds where you kind of have Naganados, the GX and the non-GX, and then you use its Ultra Conversion, Ultra Space to constantly be drawing cards. So if you're running a lot of Ultra Beast, which you're obviously running Poiples, um, and then you can kind of use the Ultra Space to power that Ultra Conversion to have more card draw. And then this is a good way to ramp up that you can discard to Zekrom Reshiram. So uh, I personally like the Silvalli one a little bit better. Um, but, you know, I think there's, there's a couple options. And uh, so some pretty cool cards. This new tag team supporter is coming. Uh, but yeah, th that art. These so lazy art. This really kills me, um, and yeah, it's very disappointing, especially with all the cool innovations that are still coming. Uh, but anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Whether it's about the cards themselves, do you see some potential that maybe I didn't hit, um, or you know, do you think they're? Yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below in a comment and. Uh, that's it for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.